On this week's podcast, we have... Hashtag laughter of children and soundboards. PC mods and connectless. Titanfall and Ben Affleck Batmans. WoW and games with gold. You can hear about all this and more on this week's official Team Debout podcast number 42. Come join us, why don't you? Hello, and welcome to the official Team Debout podcast number 42. I am your host, Charlie Danger 82, and with us tonight we have Randall. Yo. Uh, buddy, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. And uh, the, the duo of demolition, the twins of torment, Luke... And Trevor. Hey. I'm pretty sure that's the longest intro either one of us has ever had. That's how I wanted to build you guys up. I wanted to make you guys happy. If only there was True. a soundboard we could put evil music to. Yeah, or, or like crowds cheering. All right, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to get a soundboard ready. I like the sound of that. <laughs> I hope we won't be bored with it. <laughs> soundboard. Yeah, yeah. Sounds boring. Do it. We get it. I'll, I'll explain later. <laughs> How's I think the audience going, sounds bored right now, Charlie. Oh shit, Ooh. son! <laughs> oh, you precocious little fucking scamp! Hey, guess who had a birthday last week? Jackson. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> yeah, Jackson turned one years old. <laughs> who, who did have a birthday last week? My that son. would be you. Did he? I did. I did. did he? Who did? Yeah, you did. I don't. Re- I don't remember this. I don't remember. You're I don't remember getting years old, dude. I didn't even get any presents. <laughs> I don't remember getting anything. <laughs> they could sue a Smash Brothers for them for the N64 or anything. Not at all. Dude, I stole it from you. You stole it back, and then you gave it to me as a birthday present. That's not really. Uh, that's what happened. I stole it it from, you stole it from me. I stole it back from you. Then I stole the copy from my sister-in-law and gave it to you. It has begun. <laughs> I'm thinking about some apparel and a small feline animal. Can you tell me what I'm thinking of, Randall? No, Maybe some apparel to put on your Take feet. Sweat pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Can we at least make it halfway through before we mention wet pussy? <laughs> Dude, it's well, always on the mind. You have to bring it up. Let's give a big shout out to Dave, who's probably all over the nation right now in his, his new job, trucking all over. Woo! Big shout out to Shock Door sixty one thirty five. He's just starting to do his uh his um oh what's that game called? Outlast. Outlast uh Let's Plays. Our Shock oh. Door takes on on his uh station, so please be sure to take it out. It's awesome though. The entire first episode is him cursing my name. It's it's glorious. The first jump scare was the most hilarious thing I've seen this week in last week. So damn funny. So funny. <laughs> But, and the thing was, he knew it was coming. Right. Oh, he's already played it before, hasn't he? He has. <laughs> because he realized halfway through that it wasn't saving the recording with the uh... PlayStation 4 feature. <laughs> so he had put himself through that horrible ordeal just to come back and realize nothing was happening. Ah, love you, Dave. So, guys. Yes. I'll, I'll answer behalf of everyone. It would thank you. It would seem that uh, big news week. Big news week. Definitely. Good news uh, too. News, news that just came out today. Um, Xbox, a lot of changes to uh, Xbox Live Gold, and uh, lots of changes to uh, Xbox One. Specifically, the um, is starting out in June. They are going to be selling it without the Connect for three ninety nine. So none of you have an excuse. Start playing games with me. <laughs> both, but both of us have one. But oh well, you guys don't play games with me. Hop on. What the hell? 
If you done been told, Chris. <laughs> don't play Titanfall alone. I don't mean to have Titanfall. <laughs> I play Titanfall every night. <laughs> don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. But the thing is, here's the thing. I've heard, um, you know, um, everything from, you know, welcome to the club. Microsoft, now you have an affordable game system, so people can actually choose between a PS4 or a, you know, Xbox One. It kind of levels the playing field. And I've also heard that without the Kinect, you don't have the full Xbox One experience. Yeah. Elaborate on this. Well, as a console alone by itself, I'm sure the Xbox One for uh, just the... Hey, who's yeah. that? X- <laughs> By itself, just as a console, just for playing games, I'm sure it'll be great for the 399 price point. But if you actually want to use it how it's supposed to be used, like for TV and for all the media stuff, the Kinect is almost like the best thing about the Xbox One, just for the simple fact of the ease of use. Because <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but I'm lazy. So Ooh. reaching 10 feet across the room to pick up my controller is, yeah, just too much work. So. Yeah, Being able to say, hey, Xbox, go to video and play blah, 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 blah. Hey, look. Oh, I don't want to update it. Now, <laughs> now the TV's gone. But yeah, look at yeah, that. Yeah, sounds like an awesome <laughs> bonus having that Kinect plug in. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my, uh, well, my and, and another nice thing is the fact that the Kinect actually recognizes you when you enter the room. Yep. So it might sign you in. So like, if I go over to, you know, Silent Wonder Twin over there. Mm-hmm. I can get signed into his his Xbox One automatically because it recognizes me. Okay. Right. Now, and it's also really fun yelling at your TV mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. actually listening to you. But, um, gentlemen, so if I wanted to use my game system to say, oh, I don't know, as a game system, then I I still would be able to do it without the Connect. Right. I mean, right. you know, some it's games are not playing features. You're not in the future if you don't have the. Connect. I'm not in the future. I'm an old man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm okay with this. No, th- this sounds perfect to me. The all-seeing I mean, eye of Sauron will not be upon me, like at all times. You know, but, but, I'm but not Charlie... going to wake up in the middle of the night and hear, hear it say, "I see you." Play Play connectables with me. I'll take you know? I'll take the system recognizing me and listening to my commands over a jetpack any day. Since we're not getting that anytime soon, and that's what we're well, promised I, in the future. I mean, <laughs> well, hang, on, hang on, guys, guys. Next year, though, we're supposed to have hoverboards and dress like a really, really shitty '90s. <laughs> wow, are you insinuating, my friend, that it is shitty? The Back to the Future. Uh, I'm talking about the future style. <laughs> The future was, style. Yes. Everyone knows future style is neo-Victorian style that was found in Deus Ex Human Revolution. <laughs> lot of ruffly collars coming back. <laughs> M- mixed with lots and lots of random bright colors. Maybe. I'm going to wear the... Ne- I, I, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm wearing the neon orange ruffled collar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> The one That's thing I'm wondering, going back to the Xbox without the Connect, is how much they're going to charge for the Connect since they're knocking what, like, two hundred dollars off of it? Are they going to charge two hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> they're I like, you want speak. it, you have to earn it. I have the sales figures right here. Matters. <laughs> it's the classic um, Microsoft. I will go two steps forward and take seventeen steps back. Business deal that they have. <laughs> Actually, they're lowering the system to uh, $200. Just saw that right there, and the Kinect is now $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think you're looking at the EA site. Oh, it doesn't maybe include I, the I'm microtransactions sorry. for the Kinect. <laughs> like being able to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every command costs you 99 cents in DLC. <laughs> <laughs> but it's purely cosmetic. It's purely cosmetic. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, none, well, what about, none, of, so, none of the commands hmm? actually work. None of them. None of them. Oh. Uh, there, there's several updates to those commands, though. Is there? Yes, there's several updates to the commands that make you think it's going to work. 
But then when you try to use a command, you end up spending ten thousand dollars and it crashes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's and then you key. start yellowing and it and it promises you, you know, five hundred million dollars and then instead it just gives you no heists. <laughs> well, this is true. This is true. Uh, Shout out to the terrible Rockstar. wonderfulness of GTA. To, to the to the thing. <laughs> Shout out to Rockstar. Has anybody I played GTA never... Five in the last like year? I was gonna um, say I can't. It hasn't remember. even been out for a year. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I may or may not have been on there earlier last week, and okay, by myself because nobody wanted to say <laughs> exactly. No one else was on there. <laughs> but like, when else, it wasn't like no one else that you knew. No one else was on there. Oh no, there's a shit ton of people. Actually, I yeah. shouldn't use the word people. They're more like assholes. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, those are the best kind of people. I, I'm someone's a prideful asshole. It's true. Okay, as long as you know. Pride goeth before the fall. <laughs> but Titan speaking, I thought, of Titan, I thought Titan went before the fall. Oh yes. shit! Whoa. Wow. <laughs> <Wah. laughs> um, so Xbox One will also be seeing soon um games with gold. Woo! Yeah. yeah. And it's it's strange because one of the big things that, you know, they had said when games with gold was finally like rolled out there. Is that it was going to roll to Xbox One immediately? That, and if you download that game, that's yours to keep, man. We're not like those other guys, Sony. Fuck those guys. If you're not part of their little, you know, uh, PlayStation Plus, you don't get to keep those games. When, when You can't even play those games if, if your membership expires. You know, us, you download the game, you keep it forever. Until now. Because... Now they're going to be doing a business model very similar to PlayStation, uh, Plus. PlayStation Plus, where, yes, of course, you can download all these games, and because we're doing it this way, we can get you games that are cooler and um, stuff. Uh, uh, <laughs> so you uh, can rent <laughs> the game from us for the price of a gold membership. <laughs> I mean, I mean, and and that's assuming you can actually you know, have all these games on your hard drive because six games takes up half the hard drive. Right. So wait, the games that they've already released would those licenses then be revoked to that business model? Gee, I don't know. I hope they don't retroactively do anything. Maybe it's just moving forward. Maybe they'll retroactively do it. See, the thing is, they're kind of cagey with that. Uh. Hmm. So hopefully you downloaded all those games and kept them on your pro. Well, then again, you know, if you download a game, a free game on PlayStation Plus, and if you delete it from your hard drive, you can always, as long as you're a member, you can always like re-download it. It's just like Xbox Live. Right. So I would, they they wouldn't shoot themselves in the friggin' foot like that. Hopefully, they, they've done I some hope. dumber things. Well, coming to the Xbox One. Uh, in June is going to be Halo Spartan Assault and um, Max Curse of Brotherhood. Both of those for free. Are you shitting me? Uh, no. No. I would know not. if I was shitting you because uh. I'd be shitting out a large man with a mohawk. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and I think it would hurt. At uh, first. I knew I should have bought Spartan Assault. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> You've fallen victim to something we commonly refer to as atoming. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, it happens to the best of us, man. It really does. But um, Steam but yeah, Steam um Steam. it's important to note that you will get the free games for both systems with a single Xbox Live Gold account. Well, I guess so, that's a good thing that I get Sword and Salt for the 362. Oh, games for both systems. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. You see, <laughs> I, what I think that sentence means is that you can have one Xbox Live account and download stuff for your Xbox One and download stuff for your Xbox 360. Because they said in June, Xbox 360 owners will be getting Dark Souls, Charlie Murder, who's my cousin, and um, <laughs> Street Fighter... What's four. IV? Is that for? Yeah, uh, four. Arcade Edition. Which is billed as a bonus. Bonus game. 
So, mm-hmm. so really, I'm I'm looking forward to Dark Souls, so I can sit there and kill myself later on in my life. <laughs> yeah. After dying numerous, numerous times. Well, the thing is, um, I think uh, I, I think I figured out the algorithm. Oh. Let's go half go half a year into the past, and you're going to start seeing. Um, you're going to be able to to start like thinking about what games are actually going to be coming out for the um, for the 360 games of gold. All you got to do is go back about a year ago and see what games were being released on the PlayStation Plus for their free games. Because on Friday, you guys can get Saints Row the Third, which I got last August. And you can get, we got Hitman, I think, last month and a month before. And Hitman was like, what, a week or two ago? For, for Games of Gold. Like, yeah. And that was about a year ago for that. So I'm thinking that if you keep on switching back and forth, I'm thinking within the next two to three months, we're going to see, like, Batman Arkham City free for the Xbox. Hmm. Or Borderlands. Awesome. Borderlands 2 or Tomb Raider. Those are, those are my big three. Um, within the next six months, at least one of those is going to be on Games of Gold. I'm, I'm making a prediction. I'm holding my hand out like I'm pontificating or something. You guys can't see it, but like imagine in your head. Oh, I'm imagining. <laughs> uh, that, that's dirty. Ah, mm. uh, imagine all the people. Sorry. Okay. So. Hey, Luke. Hmm, that's me. You know what really sucked? What? H.R. Giger is dead. Really? Yes. Didn't know that. The creative force between all the Alien movies, the designer who created the Xenomorph, which is one of the most iconic, like, movie monsters of all times. Dude, I don't know what that is. You be quiet. One of those guys. Is that the thing from Dead Space? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Got um, it. But no, um, Eager died at the age of 74. Yes, Jax. H.R. Giger was a talented artist. <laughs> he, uh, uh, he also was a big inspiration behind Doom, the video game, not the movie with The Rock. We don't talk about that. No, we try not to. But yeah, it really sucks. I mean, he he actually was uh, commissioned um, for a short period of time to do the um, the set design, especially for the Harkonnens in the uh, David Lynch movie Dune. But due to last minute uh, conflicts, alas, he could not. And in the restaurant he had, because he had his own fucking restaurant, if you can imagine a cool H.R. Giger themed restaurant, uh, the chairs that were supposed to be in the Harkonnen throne room were actually at the restaurant. You could fucking sit in them. That gave me major nerd boner because I really do like Dune. Even though, like, everybody says the David Lynch version wasn't good. I personally like the movie a lot. I mean, it was, it was definitely a different and interesting kind of take on it. I will say that. Was, yeah. The book is better. Never saw well, it. that's that's the beautiful thing about books. I rarely read them, so I can't be disappointed. Like Lord of the Rings, Hobbit, never read them. Hmm. So this way, I can't be disappointed if there's something different in the movie. Now, conversely, when they come out with a screen adaptation of The Thief of Always, which is my favorite book of all time, if it's any slightest bit different than the source material. I will write it. And it will not be it will not be pretty. It will not be polite. Will, will you end up, be, uh, end up contacting your cousin and go uh, in the killing spree with Charlie Killer? Charlie Murder, I mean? For Charlie Murder? Yeah. Charlie Murder and me are just going to go nuts. <laughs> I'm down for a riot. I don't know what it's for, but I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here. And although you can't see me, I'm pointing to my right as if Randall was sitting over here. But alas, the, I'm in Arizona. Theater of the mind, guys. See, they don't have to know that. 
The audience doesn't have to know that. All, all they have to think of is, wow, these guys are just like sitting around a table. Yeah, man, we're sitting around a bonfire eating some marshmallows. I mean, that, that chopping it up. That was Randall's on a way. But um, no, um, back on to H.R. Gregor, um, the the 501st Legion, you know, the massive Star Wars cosplay-ish group <laughs> that's, you know, worldwide. Oh, yes. Um, one of their big things they do to help raise funds for different projects that they do is something called the As You, As you Wish Humley Project, where uh, members sculpt and model famous and iconic helmets oh. from the series. There is a uh, actually a Xenomorph inspired Darth Vader helmet that's oh, actually oh, up man. on the auction board right now. That, that sounds awesome. awesome. That sounds so damn awesome. But I must say to you I must say There's to you There's also Predator this, inspired ones as well. Trevor, I, I must ask you this though. Yes. Sometimes, when famous iconic things are finally like <laughs> joined together, <laughs> are, no, no, not even joined together, but famous iconic things are, um, let's say, I don't know, revamped, rebooted, and you know, certain pictures of them leak online. Um, some people get very upset about this, like. Like a person that that I heard was very very upset today when the first picture of Ben Affleck as Batman leaked online. I think that person's name is Randall. Yeah, yeah. let's not talk about that. Well, no, I no no let, let's let's actually talk about that, Randall. <laughs> See, this is this is a podcast we talk about. <laughs> we talk about things in your the, the right? last like three four hours. Of... I've been arguing with like six different people about this shit. And that's good, though. <laughs> you know why? Because it's content. Yeah. So, so what you what you fighting with him for? What, what's what's going on there, Randy? Well, in my humble opinion, right? I just think that the way he looks in the suit and everything, it just it doesn't look like it's Batman. It look yeah, it looks it is technically Batman, but I just don't think he should be the size of a fucking rock. Okay. So I was I just posted, you know, a little something like, Oh look, his hat looks like he has cat ears and he's the size of a wrestler on steroids. And everyone's like, He's the Batman, he's supposed to be big. Have you not read any comics? Have you not seen this and that? I'm like, I understand there are some books and some comics that have him as a giant fucking guy, but everything that I've seen, the all the stuff that I know him from, he's I, I, I said it wrong, I said he's an average guy. He's not average, but He's not like a giant fucking steroided out bodybuilder or something like that. Who's like he, I, the way I said it? He's not Hulk. He sh he shouldn't look like he's bench presses five hundred pounds twenty times a day every day of the week. But uh, uh, yeah, I think they're going for a hybrid of the Jim Lee um, style of drawing him, like especially in the Hush storyline. And a uh, hybrid of that and the Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller. Mm -hmm. and I think they're trying. I think they're trying to mold them together. Right. And from what I've heard about the story, it's supposed to be a much older Batman. Mm -hmm. So I think they might be trying to go into uh, the Dark Knight Returns like era or yeah. feel to it. But um, my biggest problem, basically was not the look of the suit itself, it's just who was in it. Because <laughs> I just can't fucking stand Ben Affleck. I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm sure he's a, such a nice guy. He's probably the nicest guy ever. I just don't enjoy his movies. Yeah, he's probably not a nice guy. He looks like he'd be a giant dick. I mean, to me, he's always going to be Shannon Hamilton from Mallrats. Right. You know? I, I said it once before, I'll say it again, you know? He's going to come on screen and he's going to be like, you know, I am the greatest uh, detective of all time and I have gadgets and I have a bat cave and I have a shrewd investigative computer and I use this to find criminals and fuck them someplace fairly uncomfortable. <laughs> and then Robin's going to turn and say, like the back of the Volkswagen, you know, so I, I don't know. It's, it's like uh, the suit doesn't bother me. 
what really bothered me about this stuff being leaked was yesterday when they had basically a, I don't know, maybe like an axle with two tires on it and a blanket dra- draped over it. And it's like, first look at the Batmobile. It's like, yeah, thanks for the carpet, guys. Yeah, seriously. It's it's wheels and a blanket. <laughs> I I don't. This is not this isn't a Batmobile. <laughs> I cannot ride that around town. <laughs> but this isn't a car. What will Robin say? <laughs> guys, he would guys. say holy sheets on a tire, Batman. <laughs> hey guys, it, it's you gotta remember, this is obviously not a car. It's not a car. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how he's going to do his whole uh, Batman voice. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you do? Maybe he'll sound like he did in... Uh, what's his face? Maybe he'll sound like he did in Daredevil. Uh, which was just Ben Affleck's voice. Yeah. Talking a little bit quieter. He's just going to be whining like he did in Reindeer Games. Oh, God, imagine if he has the same accent he did have in... Uh, Goodwill Hunting or the town? Oh, God. Hey, Joker, I think this is wicked cool what you're doing with the people around here. (laughs) (laughs) You gotta stop that. Oh, you know what, Trevor? That is a pretty cool representation of a xenomorph but Darth Vader. I like it. I fully, uh, I condone this course of action. Yes. Uh, actually, I, I lost what the uh, foundation that they're that the or our whole uh, what's called fucking the kind of foundation that they're fucking <laughs> no, no, the, the whole foundation that the uh, charity the char- no the, the charity that which I'm referring to as foundation that the auction is benefiting. I can't remember what it is right now. Off the top of my head. Oh. We'll get back to that, little guy. Don't you worry. Oh, oh, want to talk about it, Charlie? Uh, what? Oh, oh, you want to talk about it, don't you? Talk about what? Uh, it. Channing Tatum is Gambit? What? I, oh, yeah. Yes, obviously. Yeah. Well, guess what? <laughs> Channing Tatum is going to be Gambit. <laughs> I almost wish that Heather was on here just so I could hear her going, What? <laughs> and her like yelling because Gambit is like her favorite but I think one of her favorites if not the favorite um, Marvel character that you know has ever been created it's definitely um, one of my favorite characters I, I like Gambit a lot um, Shannon Kadem I, I do like him um, to me he'll forever be Duke you know I don't see um, a, a poorly done Duke Mind you, um, in the G.I. Joe movies. Yeah. Because leave me in the cartoon, he, he never. The second one. What's that? Yeah. And of course, he was in the second one when he said, Drive it like a stallet. You know, um. Was he and... really in the second one, though? Yes, he was. Come on. I, I, I saw him in the second one. I, I like to judge those movies. One. I fell asleep in both of them. That's the only That's movie the I've ever fallen asleep in. I mean, I do like Shannon Tatum. I am very interested in seeing him in Jupiter Rising, but at the same time, I don't think he's... I think he's way too big. Uh, just like, you know, the problem you had with the um, the buff Batman. Um, I don't think Gambit is supposed to be that big. Right. You know? Um, well, I guess if you look at it, people were pretty pissed off about uh, Hugh Jackman doing... Uh... Wolverine because he was so tall. Right, yeah. He's six foot four playing a five foot two character. Right. Yeah. Oh fanboys, we need to get over ourselves. Oh shit, son. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, one when that one uh one of the guys on Twitter he, he pointed out the uh the Dark Knight uh, returns thing. He posted like uh, a link to the comic and stuff like that and a link to the picture and I was like, Okay, you still don't get my point. I understand he's big, but <laughs> I'm just being a nerd about this specific specific type of bet. He's like, well, no, the, no. I had the same problem you did when I saw the first like photographs from um, or the first um, screens from Arkham Asylum. Right. I looked at it. I'm like, oh look, Marcus Phoenix decided he was going to put on a fucking Batman now. <laughs> That's cool. 
All right. Dom. Dom. No. Dom. <laughs> Dom. Fun fact, Dom is now Robin. I'll take it under consideration. <laughs> Dom, Baird. <laughs> Baird, Dom. Dom, Baird. Someone needs to make a compilation of them screaming at each other. <laughs> like they did for uh, Rick Grimes and Carl. <laughs> Carl! Carl! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Walking Dead. Alliterative names. <laughs> Dale, Durl, all right. <laughs> Dale, Durl, Merle, all right, okay. You got Carl and Carl. You know, Carl, the older woman, short hair, and then Carl, the young kid Sam. running around with the longer hair who don't like people, people that much. That's Carl, and then there's Carl. Like, okay, can we uh, get out of the southern dialect, please? <laughs> and Riek, you know. Does anybody else here, you know, other than, you know, Randall, obviously, do you guys watch Walking Dead at all? No. Well, I should. stopped after, I think, was it was season three. I read, uh, I've read quite a few of the comics. See, I like the show a lot better than the comics because I can watch the show and I won't want to throw myself in a lake. <laughs> it's very Or put my head in an oven. <laughs> because, you know, I think that there might be hope in the world. Whereas the comics are just hey, so you're fucking going the depressing. <laughs> the comics, instead of The Walking Dead, they should have just been called Rick's really fucking bad life. <laughs> <laughs> well, or stay away from Rick Grimes. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I saw something like a meme or something that said, uh, like half of the problems from season one till like season four was because of the mom. Like everything she did fucked everything that Rick was trying to do up. Yeah. Spoiler alert. I, I especially like the one meme that I saw with, um, Daryl holding the baby. And basically the first words out of Daryl's mouth was, we have to go find some formula. And <laughs> the meme basically was, um, in two minutes, Daryl becomes better father than Rick and Lori were for the first two seasons. <laughs> because at that point, Lori uh, is busy and Rick is busy. And everybody else is just taking care of the kid. So. I personally thought it was funny. Fuck all y'all. Oh, I thought there was more to that story. No. My shit was muted. I was trying to talk. I'm stupid. (laughs) (laughs) Stop talking to me. I'm talking to myself. Listen to me. Listen to me. (laughs) So one of my favorite memes that uh, might be quite a bit of a spoiler. Um. What I was trying to say when I fucking muted myself like an idiot. <laughs> oh, you muted yourself. <laughs> was uh, you know the, I don't know if you if you got, I don't know if you guys are trying to catch up or not. You might want to close your ears. But uh, the girl, the older daughter. Yeah, there was a picture of her holding the baby, and it had the uh, little babysitter. You know the movie Babysitter, <laughs> little cutouts, and it said "Need a babysitter." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god, this is perfect." That was so tasteless, but I loved it. <laughs> My God. <clears throat> Ow. So what's everybody playing? Let's start with Randall. Randall, what the hell are you playing? Um, I've been playing a whole lot of nothing. Well, actually, I played, I've been playing StarCraft for the last, like, four or five days. One or two? Two. I just got, well, I didn't, just, I just finished picking up on the Heart of the Swarm. I was, like, two missions in, and now I'm almost done with it. Yeah, I still gotta start that. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering gotta where it goes because game. it's it's turning out to be quite a story. Like they're, <laughs> they're explaining how, well, like what happened to Kerrigan after the Brood War and like what changed her and like how they went about changing her and stuff like that without giving any spoilers away. That's but that's good. It, it's getting pretty epic. I still gotta finish the first epic the main game. But one thing I don't like what they do is Ooh. like throughout the story they make you earn units by going and doing stuff. And, like, the way they describe it is, like, oh, we just found our broodmother has re-evolved 
our hydralisks into something a little bit better. So now you have to go relearn how to build them. I'm like, what the fuck? How come I can't build the old hydralisk while I'm waiting? <laughs> and then they make oh. you choose uh, between two different missions to get, like, the very first one is you choose between getting banelings or getting uh, the hydras. And uh, I was like, eh, fuck, I'm going to get the banelings. And the second mission, you kind of need the hydras because they send waves and waves of flying shit at you. And I'm like, okay, I have zerglings and banelings. None of these can attack flying shit. I often enjoy getting banelings. <laughs> <laughs> I like little knees. Only smaller. But I mean, come on, Zerkling solve all of your issues, come on. <laughs> right. Well, that's pretty much what my freaking strategy is, is just, I build a bunch of crap, send it all off, and if my base gets attacked, just pop thousand Zerklings and just leave them there. Damn, man. That's some cold shit. It's not hence, even a good strategy. Hence why I'm happy that my bases can fly away. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys watched any Twitch players, like, play StarCraft 2 professionally? That shit's ridiculous. I'm afraid to. <laughs> so has everybody else been playing now that I've been babbling for a couple of minutes about Twitch and StarCraft? What about you, Trevor? Well, I, I've been playing a series of mods for Sins of a Solar Empire. For what empire? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Oh, Sins of a second. Solar Empire. Sins of a Solar Empire. Yes. Pray tell, what is Sins of a Solar Empire? <laughs> Sins of a Solar Empire is a... I guess you can go interstellar RTS game. It's you taking your spaceships, you know, all the capital ships and your frigates and all these lovely things, trying to go over planets and one to like up to like five different solar systems. Hmm. Okay. And one of the mods that I actually was really playing a lot of actually today was. Uh, one called Sins of the Prophets. Oh. Pitting, pitting the UNSC against the Covenant. <laughs> that was pretty cool. awesome. It's absolutely terrifying. Because, hey, look, man. well, I mean, they have the Flood in the two, but you don't play oh. as the Flood. The Flood is an AI pirate. Wow. It's horrifying. That's yeah. very horrifying. Yes, it is. I don't like it. I haven't seen the Flood in a good seven years. That's a good thing, though. <laughs> right. The Flood with the biggest pain in the ass to fight in Halo. Mm -hmm. Especially that big-headed thing that blew up in your face. I don't <laughs> like those things. Oh, well, speaking of mods and big-headed things that blow up in your face, there, <laughs> there is a... Uh, mm -hmm. oh, no, um, actually, one, one of the things I was going to say... I was actually going to let a bit more of that. I just oh, please, take care please. Of please. Um, but, um, <laughs> take care of that. Yeah, I, I had to take care of something. <laughs> but no, um, they, they actually have all of the different kinds of ships, though, for both ships. Like, we play capital ships. There's numerous, uh, like, they have all the different Covenant ships, you know, super carrier, uh, the super carrier that's feared, <laughs> um, the super destroyer that they got an entire fleet of UNSC ships by itself. You know, you can get, you can get a, uh, Pillar of Autumn to try and take them out. But do they have oh, Vic? Okay. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> hey, dude. I mean, you can get a, you can have a bunch of super max stations guarding your planet. It's the UNSE. But what hmm. does a super max station do without Vic? Makes super big max. Dude. Exactly. <laughs> and you can get your, you know, those infamous anchor stations that we were introduced to in Reach. Wow. But I mean, the the flood. The reason why I say the flood is terrifying is because you can't really combat the flood, or contain the flood. Ooh. If they if they if you attack them or they're attacking you, they send some. They send the the flood spores, and they they're actually acting as like a fighter squad that would be deployed from a capital ship or something like that. And if they come, if they even come in contact with your ship, you've lost the entire ship already. Damn. So try ima Im imagine seeing a flood infected super cruiser, super carrier that was in the middle of your fleet suddenly turn on you. Well, that's not good. Yeah. So yet another scary game to stay away from. <laughs> Speaking of st scary games, mods, and things that blow up in your face. Yes, Charlie. Like how I unified all that. 
I saw a beautiful mod that would actually make me get into PC gaming. Oh. You know there's a mod for Left 4 Dead 2 where you can play as Mass Effect characters? Yeah. Yeah, I did. There's a shit well, ton of mods for Left 4 Dead. Fucking A, I'm late to the party again. <laughs> all I know That's is I can play... a lot of mods for anything Valve makes. All, all I, all I, I, I just want to play Garrus Vicarian and hear the the hillbilly's voice coming out of him. I just want to see Garrus running around with something other than a sniper rifle. <laughs> you know he'll just pick up the sniper rifle in the game, right? <laughs> just to be contrary. <sighs> Luke. Yes. Yes. What have you been playing, old chap? Nothing. <laughs> That's, That's so apathetic. That's a lie. <laughs> Like, in all honesty... <laughs> He's like, uh, nothing. It's, uh. it's true. I've been working and sleeping with the rest of my time. You've been playing a lot of something. I haven't, though. I played it for like two hours yesterday. I don't <laughs> think that is a lot of anything. I don't well, know that, counts, that counts as a play video time. Game. What's been playing, guy? Uh, for wow. two hours. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, that was not what I was talking about. There we go. What, that was not... what the hell are you talking about? Um, Net Netflix is not a game. <laughs> you can't get achievements for it. No, it's I a way of life. I was referring to the uh, Warhammer. Or no, the Warcraft, I mean. The Warcraft card game. I can't remember what it's called right now. Hearthstone? Hearthstone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I talked I talked about that two weeks ago when I was on. <laughs> so, they don't still playing about it. it again. You're still playing the shit out of it. Not really. It... I tried it for whatever reason it won't update for me and it's getting bothersome so I haven't been able to play it in the last few days because it refuses to update the patch. Uninstall, reinstall. Boom, problem uh, fixed. Tech news and team to boss. Yeah, podcast. dude, that takes way too long though. I have other things to do with my life. <laughs> IT problems. Here here's here's the thing though. I tried installing World of Warcraft on a laptop I have. And it says initializing for about two hours. So I stopped. I bet you there's not enough RAM. Probably not, right? I gotta buy another sheep. I mean, how much RAM do you have in that laptop? In the laptop? Probably I like don't know. Four to six gigs. Outside, I have about six RAMs. We just run around and hit <laughs> each other and shit all the time. I shear them for wool. <laughs> They're woolly RAMs, really. But not molar RAMs. No hearts are being ripped out. Oh. That's a shame. It's a glorious statement that happens. Uh, Gloria Stefan, yeah, she's nice. Miami Sound Machine. But enough about her. You know what I've been playing? Titanfall? <laughs> yes, I have. Because <laughs> I've tried playing a little more Yaiba. Fought a giant two-headed baby. <laughs> and I said, you know what? I think I might stop playing this for a little bit. <laughs> because it's... Getting to that point that every Ninja Gaiden game gets to, where they'll introduce a they'll introduce a uh, an enemy, and then they'll introduce another enemy, and then the third level you'll fight those two enemies together. And then they become enemies. Yes. <laughs> and then the fourth level, they're fighting four of those at once. No big deal. And deal. I'm getting this. It's very repetitive. So what and... you're saying is it's a video game. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, is there... I've never played a Ninja Gaiden. Is there, like, quick time like events and stuff like that? or? Uh, sometimes. Like, whenever you have to do an execution, you have to mash a certain button. Um, there's... Uh, oh, you guys will love this. On-rails platforming. That are equipped templates. Huh. Meaning you have to hit A to go up because you'll see the little arrows going up like a pipe. Mm. You'll hit A, you'll go up that pipe, you'll jump over, and then you'll see a uh, like thing hanging. So you have to hit B in order to shoot out a chain to get that and swing. Then you'll see a guy standing and you have to hit Y in order to do an attack to get past that guy to continue on with the platforming, it gets a little annoying. <laughs> so it's like those free-running games in the mobile department where you just 
tap the screen to jump, hold the screen to slide. Over yes. Over. Almost exactly like that, but just... Sounds like an A++ game to me. Meh. I mean, I mean, so when's the review some... coming out? Uh, when I finish <laughs> it. So anywhere between this week and uh, April next of next year. year. <laughs> so, um, but then again, I did rent it from Gamefly, so I certainly hope I get it done before April of next year. Right. Um, I mean, Surely. at first, it was fun. Okay. It was fun. It had quirky dialogue. Um, it, you to learn about the like crawlers that, like, will come up and, like, jump on your back and everything. Yaiba is standing there, and he is looking down, and you see a guy crawling on the ground as a torso. It's like, aren't you just a sorry little sack? Of... And then it jumps up on him, and he's like, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Which was funny to me. But that was about it. <clears throat> and then it was sad. Was Trevor. Not... Yes. Oh yes, um, I've been playing a lot of Titanfall. Myself. Yes, and... I'm up to uh, I'm up to uh, level thirty-seven. Ah, very well. Oh, no, uh, level thirty-nine. My apologies, because I just unlocked the uh, LMG. See. But Trevor, you were saying completely useless gun. Uh, um, yes. I, I I've read that there was a there was something coming out for your favorite Titanfall. You yes. care to elaborate about that? I would like to elaborate that. Um. The expedition pack actually hit today, right? I believe so. No, it's on the fifteenth. Fifteenth. My apologies. They said available now on one of the so sites. the day after this is published. Yes. yes. <laughs> um. But yes, it has um three new maps. Three new maps, which um are I believe oh shit, there's uh the jungle. Where you can do a little House of Flying Dagger shit running through and like jumping between the tree to tree and everything, and it looks amazing. War Games, which takes place inside the simulation. Like if you play the tutorial, that little world that you're in to train in, the virtual world, it's a whole game. It's a whole like virtual, I mean, whole uh, map of like just virtual stuff, which looks cool. Mm -hmm. And Runoff, which is a uh, cityscape. That of thing a lot like uh, Angel City, but it looks good. If you don't have the season pass, it's twenty four ninety nine. I mean, the, the season pass is twenty four ninety nine. The individual maps are nine ninety nine. So you so. save about ten bucks if you get the season pass or something like that. About yeah, about. Get it. It's worth it. I already got it. Shit's not even out yet. Get it. Get it. Whoop whoop. He's not messing around. Yeah. See. I'm hip with you kids. I, I I know I know different rappers. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now I don't think we actually elaborated on uh the subject. Channing is going to be um Gambit in the next film, the Eclipse <laughs> film. He is not going to be making an appearance in Days of Future Past. Just to clarify. Just to clarify. I know people will be clamoring for Channing Tatum news. <laughs> yeah. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> so, uh, hey, guys, there's there's a couple game sales on Xbox Live. Like what? I think it's time to check the flyers. Check the flyers. Check the flyers. Channing, check the flyers. Change Thank you, Randall. Time. Uh, so, there's a... Uh, Two parts to this sale. There's a zombie sale, and there's a Square Enix publisher sale. So on the uh, on the Xbox uh, side of things, uh, the Xbox zombie sale side of things, Dead Island Riptide is eleven ninety nine. Dead Island Regular is nine ninety nine. If you didn't download it when it was free, kind of weird. Um, suck. Plants vs Zombies is three seventy four. Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. Is twenty dollars and nine cents. State of Decay nine ninety nine. Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare four ninety nine. How to Survive seven forty nine. A uh, Black Ops two Season Pass is twenty four ninety nine, which is fifty percent off. And Zombie Apocalypse Never Die Alone is three thirty nine. So make sure you to pick up some of those wonderful bargains. Now, on the Square Enix publisher sales side of things, 
Thief is $44.99. Tomb Raider, $13.49. Lightning Returns, $29.99. Hitman Blood Money, $6.59. Deus Ex Human Revolution is $4.94. Highly suggest getting it if you guys haven't gotten it already. Just Cause 2, $4.94. Kane and Lynch, the first one, Dead Men, $4.99. Dungeon Siege 3 is $4.99. Uh, uh, Battle Stations uh, Pacific is four ninety nine, and Quantum Conundrum is four ninety four. Now, why the five cent difference between some titles and other titles? Kinda chaps my ass. They know it pisses you off. They're like, we're gonna get them this time. I know, right? <laughs> Now, uh, Skullgirls is the free game this week for PlayStation Plus members, and the free game this week for um, Xbox Xbox Live Gaming with Gold members is Saints Row the Third, which is a completely awesome game, the best game of the franchise. I highly suggest you wait. That's play for Gold it. or Plus? Uh, for that's for Gold. Ooh, for gold. cool! It was free for Plus a year ago. Yeah. Now it's free for Gold. <laughs> this week <laughs> it is time it is time <laughs> yes. um i also noticed that there was a lot of skull girls dlc recently added on the xbox marketplace really yes uh but the unfortunate thing is it's uh not free it's free it's, it's free on the playstation plus yes, so maybe sadly. maybe the dlc is all discounted we can never tell yeah. oh there's also a free birthday skin pack for uh, Minecraft. So you guys want to get into that one. Um, all right, I, I'm going to play Destiny as much as the next person, whether it's on uh, probably like probably on the PS4 and on the Xbox 360 predominantly. But it's kind of pushy in its advertising. In the tagline right there on the dashboard says, You will become legend. What if I don't want to become legend? <laughs> what if I just want to be middle of the road? What if I want to be middle of the road? What if I just want to be support, you know? It's like, hey guys, go team. No, like you will become legend. Like, okay, <laughs> shit. Holy shit. Mm. Drop them drawers, boy. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, that turned dark quick. It is. It's, it's, that, that's some Destiny gig out there. Uh, <laughs> giggle, giggle, giggle. Oh, oh, oh. oh my. I'm still going to get the shit out of that game, though. I can't yeah. wait. I can't wait. Oh, guys, I know that you guys are salivating for this. There is also... <laughs> yes. <laughs> there is also a 99-cent Avatar sale. Ooh, for the twerking? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't believe it's twerking. Uh, I know, right? I, I know. Uh, what a shame. <laughs> what else would you get other than the twerking? You know, <laughs> but give me twerking or give me death. You know, <laughs> get your eagle on <laughs> and make it clap. <laughs> Jackson, <Jackson's> perfect timing. <laughs> He's like, I got that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but yes there, there are many items that are available for 99 cents especially if you like ninjas because you can get things like blazing tiger fists <laughs> oh, blazing tiger fist <laughs> uh, it's racist because it's fun uh, okay uh, let's try this one the golden ninja king is it the good and the ninja king? He's <laughs> so <funny> after you. <laughs> I got something stuck in my throat, so it sounded weird. <laughs> Best part of my day. Oh. It is Golden not a racist ninja. because I am a part of Japanese. <laughs> oh, well, that looks like this. <laughs> uh, there, there's the uh, Golden Tiger Ninja. Uh, the yeah, the Immortal the Ninja. Uh, the Shaolin Monkey, which oh, is kind of awesome. so racist. Um, King Slayer, which is a, uh, I believe it's a bow that shoots Lannisters at people. Um, 
Yeah, very few people are going to get that, but when they do, they're going to laugh their balls off. Uh, the Golden Ninja King. Uh, toy smoke bomb. Really, it's just a smoke bomb, for God's sakes. Can we please drop this whole toy thing? Yeah. White Archer. That's totally racist. Black <laughs> Archer. That's even more racist. Um, Black Archer Ninja costume. Shit. Black Archer Ninja. This, this whole thing, dude. We got a lawsuit on our hands here. Black uh, Archer Ninja Huntsman. Yo, Ninja, you got your Black Archer? Oh, so what do you say, Ninja? Oh, I always time timed in sort of bad plug for Vanilla Rap, Vanilla Ice song. Go, Ninja, go, Ninja, go. Exactly. City Psycho Ninja. Vanilla Ice plug. City Psycho Ninja. The Cobalt Ninja. <laughs> Uh, the Camo Ninja, the Blood Shogun, everything under the Ninja ba uh, banner there is uh, on sale. Although the Fox Ninja does look pretty freaking awesome, I must admit. What does because the Fox, the Fox Ninja Because it's a Ninja. Ding, 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 ding. It's, it's kind of it. cool. Uh, it's kind of too. He's got like this red scarf around his neck that goes like up to mid face and then down his left shoulder onto his arm and he's got like gold inlays and he's all red and white and he's fucking weird looking. I like it. A uh, demon ninja. Frost dragon attacks. Ghost ninja. Grinning ninja king. Oh fuck. Me so happy. Me grin all day. <laughs> A happy ninja. <laughs> A uh, Mecha Ninja Armor, <laughs> which sounds like a McDonald's sandwich. Um, <laughs> mm, robotic Ninjas. Where have I seen that one before? They all look like they're from, uh, basically they all look like they're from Warframe. <laughs> but yeah, there's a shitload of the Ninja stuff. Check out the Ninja uh, thing and whatever. The only cool thing you can do with your avatar is I got a red flannel shirt, pair of jeans, and black shoes on mine. And the ability to twerk. <laughs> no, I, I didn't get the twerking ability. <laughs> but oh, I, I just I just think it's awesome that my avatar on Xbox Live <laughs> is Joel from The Last of Us, which is a PS3 game. <laughs> 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 I just think that's totally ironic. Almost as ironic as the fact that I watched... <laughs> I was with Tan and I believe you two, mm -hmm. and we all watched the um, Sony press conference using the IGN app and Xbox. On, on the Xbox dashboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was great because I'm going to bring him up again. Uh, Tan was, because he just came online, Tan, for some reason, was about five to seven seconds ahead of me in the streaming. So right before anything cool would happen, about five to seven seconds before an announcement, all he heard was, oh, that's interesting. Huh. <laughs> oh, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and I'd be like, damn it. <laughs> Something cool is about to happen. <laughs> And you have no clue what he was talking about. Until five, five seconds. seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> I was completely in the dark for five seconds. <laughs> Man, that sounds like we could write a bad movie title. Uh, well, Must I also... What's bad that? movies. I just okay. want to say this real quick. Elysium, this Call of Duty Advanced Warfighter. There you go. Yes. Hi. Same thing. Oh, cool. Then you mean I'll, I'll like the game and I'll like the movie? Yeah. Oh, if, sweet. If, if, if that's your cup of tea. It's right up your alley. Cod boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is all. Shit. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> you should be cod boy. <laughs> Randall. <laughs> I am a man. I am a grown man, Randall. Sure you are, cod boy. <laughs> Whenever we see cod on sale in the, uh, grocery store that we go to I always tell Craig the same joke and god bless him he laughs at my joke every time I'm just like uh, 
the fish is good, but I don't know what the hell this has to do with Call of Duty. Um, all right, fine. It's a bad joke. I get it. Whatever. They sell Call of Duty at the grocery store? Hell yeah. If you go to the fish section, there's fillets of Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. If you go into the frozen section, a... <laughs> there's breaded Call of Duty as well. Oh, glob. That makes so sense now. But see, I don't oh, understand. Th- this one thing I still don't understand. How do fish hold guns and run on land? Very carefully. Yo, there was an octopus that pulled itself onto land and started walking around like it ain't no fucking thing. Like he did not give a fuck. And then it married a woman and had kids. <laughs> and de-weeded a garden. Um, what have you <laughs> and been watching? It became deadly as cat. <laughs> Randall, what have you been watching? Charlie Octodad. just told you. <laughs> You're not listening to the podcast? I can't wait to play that for the PS4. Um, In fact, I'm writing that shit down, so it's a tag, son. Um, Oh, news flash. News bulletin. (laughs) This is what we need to soundboard. (laughs) The funniest shit ever of all time happened last week during Friday night's debauchery. Hmm. When Tan came on and did his impression of me doing Tan. <laughs> it it was, was the most funniest thing in the fucking world. Impression and I, Inception. And I highly suggest, if you have a time machine, go back to last week's Friday Night Debauchery. Join in just so you can hear Tan's impression of my impression of Tan. Oh, I have it saved somewhere. I'm going to cut up a, a thingy. Oh, I don't know if I was recording at that time. Because oh, no. that was at the end, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that, that was kind of near the end because I was ta- I was actually talking to him when he did that. Yeah, that was near the end. Well, I do have yeah. a recording, and I'm gonna start putting up the the stream highlights since we've been doing the uh, live streaming on Twitch.com/slash/HafkinBush for Friday Night Debaucheries. Wow. Uh, I haven't been doing the uh, uploading like I used to on YouTube because every Friday I used to. I don't know if any of you remember, but I used to upload our previous week's Friday Night Debauchery. But since I've been doing the streaming, I have been fucking lazy and not doing that. So I'm going to actually start cutting shit together again. Yay! Cutting it together like Skrillex and shit. Wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. Mashing shit up like girl talk, son. <laughs> like, oh my god. Wrong girl talk. <laughs> I know, but still had it. <laughs> Hashtag awkward senior year. 2014. Oh, oh god, not that again. Oh, god, no. Are we doing this again? Maybe. <laughs> What's trending, kids? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hit me. <laughs> I think uh, it's probably a good time for a bit of a station identification, don't you think? I think that's a damn good idea, son. I, I mean, I, some of the stuff that's actually trending we covered already. Did you know what with who now? We actually covered some of the stuff tw- trending already. We really did. Why? Because we're fucking topical. Anyway, Bam! Yeah, we are. Station identification. If you like coffee, and I know you guys do, I know I do, I think y'all like Deadly Grounds Coffee. You can find that at DeadlyGroundsCoffee.com. It's coffee to die for. It's damn good, and y'all should try it, because it's fucking awesome. So yeah. there. Boom. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. No, do it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, can you smoke Also. Coffee? I don't know if you can. <laughs> yeah. I was born for this. Uh, <laughs> I was born for this, motherfucker. Um, so, also, be sure to go over to our good friend Mark over at the Tangent Bound Network. You can find all of his Tangent Bound Network podcasts there. There are a lot to mention, and since we're a little short on time, please forgive me, sir. I'm not going to go through all of them, but check out the Tangent Bound podcast. And go over to tangentboundnetwork.com to check out everything under his banner. There's links to it all there. He's got a lot of them there. He's building up a really good network. So, Mark, much uh, much respect, much appreciation to you, man. Doing great over there. Please go over and check out his stuff. Yeah, buddy. Also, make sure you swing by teamdebod.blogspot.com where you can find reviews, uh, general articles relating to new topical stuff having to do with video games, movies, toys, uh, well, shit, action figures, toys, toys for babies, action (laughs) figures, dudes, um, 
<laughs> you know, and the like, any sort of pop culture stuff that we, uh, on our radar that we can throw on there. We gladly will. We got reviews from people like Randall, people like uh, Dave. He's just put up his infamous review. Uh, a few columns from Jamie, uh, Craig, myself, um, uh, Jake, you know, all these people. You know, Wolf Boy is uh, putting up his uh, Friday Night Debauchery listings uh, on there, too. So we'll check that out pretty soon. Uh, just also to let you know on the team about that blogspot.com. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Horizon. Uh, our Friday night debauchery this week will be in Call of Duty Ghosts. So, letting you all know, uh, we're starting that out at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday. That would be Friday, June. No, May 16th. We're still May. We're still May. May. Friday, May 16th, 2014. I plan ahead. Um, Friday, May 16th. 2014. Uh, we will be playing Call of Duty Ghosts um, around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let Charlie Danger 82 know on Xbox Live or res- uh, put a post on the or comment on the Blogspot article, and uh, we'll get you in there. So yes, that is Friday Night Debauchery. Call of Duty Ghosts. Be there or be uh, not right, re- not triangular. Also, want to give a shout out to our store, cafepress.com slash team to where you can find our brand new um, Friday Night Debauchery t-shirt, one of our new Friday Night Debauchery t-shirts, um, tea tumblers, mugs, regular t-shirts, hoodies, all sorts of shit. Mouse pads. Who's got a mouse pad from, team to, from cafepress.com slash team to Jackson does in his hand right now because he stole it from me. Aww. See that? <laughs> Kids, it's so we'll... good. Babies love it. <laughs> it's so good. If you buy it, babies will steal your shit. Hell yeah, and everybody knows babies have the best taste. Oh yeah. They like everything. But they only love certain things. Yeah, but see? And and I know that he knows because he has a kid. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so plug my mouse. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh so yes. CafePress.com slash Team Deba. Check out our merch, teamdeba.blogspot.com. Check out our stuff. Also, um, hey, Randall, why don't you tell us about some video people? Yeah, man. Check out our friends on the... Uh, you- <laughs> that was great, wasn't it? He's so excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am. Man. It's fucking YouTube, yo. Put our friends on, on, the, on the YouTubes, man. Dave Trogdor, 6135, is it? I think I got that right. Maybe, maybe. Trogdor, 6135. You got Boom! It right. I didn't even have to look at it this time. He just released uh, uh, Outlast Part 1. Scare the shit out of me. I don't know if that's what he calls it, but that's what it does. Our, uh, <laughs> our other friends, Heather Olo7, had a farm, EOPIA. That's not actually her name. It's Oleopia. Since we never actually say that, we just say the rhyme. But uh, right. she's done some good stuff. Her latest thing, I think, was the uh, giving up on you. Is, is that what it's called? Yes, a tribute to York and Carolina. Yeah, and it's pretty. It's pretty amazing. I watched it. I was expecting some uh, crazy, like, "Oh, look!" I threw some crappy cutscenes. No, it's it's pretty amazing. But uh, go terrible. check that out. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. also there is our friend, our friends at uh, Friendship Breakers. They mm-hmm. do a whole lot of stuff that's uh, pretty hilarious. They uh, try to ruin each other's friendship, but uh, don't succeed very often because they just end up yelling at each other than laughing. Those precocious scamps. And then there is myself, and I've been lazy this past two weeks, but uh, the last thing I uploaded was the uh, Dealing with Campers type video in Titanfall. Live commentary, so go check that out. Let me know how I'm doing, because I don't get a lot of feedback, so I just keep making shitty videos. And where would we find your videos, man? And that would be on YouTube.com slash Master Sergeant Bush. I need to change that, because that's not my name. Because you got like seven of them. (laughs) Yeah. The header says African Bush. But it's under youtube.com slash user slash master sergeant bush. <laughs> yeah. Way to make it easy for people, man. Yeah. Everything else has changed. The Twitter, the not the Twitter, the what the hell is it called? Twitch is now twitch.tv slash African Bush. Twitter's twitter.com slash African Bush. I just need that. YouTube. Change YouTube. Change. And now we return to our regular scheduled programs. So then I said, duck. That's my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charlie. Oh, oh, I know, right? 
Oh, that one time, there, you actually yeah. laugh at your jokes. <laughs> I know, right? And the thing is, you miss it because it was interrupted by a station identification. Uh, oh. uh, and so I sneezed and I pulled a muscle deep within me. And every time I breathe or like move or talk, um, it's excruciating. Nice. Just, just throwing that out there. Now, when you say deep within you. Yes. Do you, uh, I don't know where I'm going with that. I was trying to make a sexual reference, but it didn't work too well. It might as well be in my butthole, because that's how <laughs> inside me it feels like I pulled a muscle. Oh, shit. Jug darn. That was uh, Swedish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Curse on oh. the Lord in Swedish. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. <laughs> and that's also painful. You just made me laugh. I hate you, but I don't. It's so weird. Oh. So, Luke, what you doing over there, buddy? Nothing. Oh, that's my buddy. Are you sure, Luke? Are you sure nothing's that's, happening? That's my little emo friend. So, uh, what's this about original sin number one? It's four ninety nine, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> For a comic book, that's five dollars American. <laughs> And all the all it is is somebody shot the watcher Uatu in the face. Boom. You know who Uatu is? Don't. Please elaborate. He's a big bald motherfucker called the Watcher, and he always says, "I can only watch. I cannot. I I cannot uh, interfere with anything, but I may only observe." You know what the motherfucker always ends up doing? He always ends up interfering. You son of a bitch. bitch. How dare you go against your own job description? Fucking like Uwatu. <laughs> that Uwatu. <laughs> He's crazy. But yeah, apparently it's a big crossover event for um, Marvel Comics. And excuse me, the crypt has been opened. <laughs> I must attend to. I must attend to a beast. Hold on. Uh, uh. Speaking of crypts, you guys remember Mortal Kombat when they had that crypt system to buy shit? Nope. That was that was exciting. Yeah, I'm, I I I wish I could speak more about that, but fighting games and me we don't get along. <laughs> well, I'll just say this to to sum it up: they had AA through ZZ, and you had a you earned tokens from fighting. You go to the crypt to buy either you know it it was supposed to be clothes, move sets, and like other crap like that. You always ended up getting concept art. Bless you. Concept art, blank case, concept art, concept art, blank case. And I was like, fuck this. I don't care about the alternate costumes. I don't care about the movesets. I'm done with this game. They should... I, there's just no reason for that. The crypt... Fucking Krakens. Yeah. But the what sounds they had in the crypt was pretty cool. And that's when they came up with the Konami code. I was just like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you half of them like were just bugged. If you open them, they'd say, sorry, we forgot to program this. <laughs> Shit. But yeah, the um, it's a big crossover event for Marvel. Um, much like uh, Forever Evil is going to be the big summer crossover event for, um, not Forever Evil. Um, Tomorrow's End is going to be the big crossover. Future's End. So if it's something's end, Future's End, Land's End. You got to buy a bunch of khakis. I have no fucking idea. Um, or catalog. It all. No, um, it's Future's End. In DC and Original Sin, who killed the big headed motherfucker in Marvel? Yep, yeah, that's that. There's also been news of another fairly big crossover coming up. Yes, yeah, so this one's actually TV. Um, I believe it's in September. There's there Seth MacFarlane's going. Hey, I'm going to combine a series. Crossover my series making fun of Simpsons with the Simpsons. Whoa. <laughs> so that's finally happening. Uh yeah, they're finally doing a Family Guy Simpsons crossover. Holy shit. Did you guys see the Lego Simpsons episode they had like a week or two ago? Yeah, so I, I did catch that. It was pretty pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh. I, I was actually impressed was, how well they did. They it was based off of what movie again? 
Uh, I don't fucking remember. They made a reference to it at like the end of the episode, but I, yeah, I didn't it, catch it. Yeah, good episode. I don't know if they have it on probably like Hulu or something because they put everything it, on it. It's probably on Hulu. But yeah, check that out. Pretty cool. I I didn't know how they would do the animation, but I guess they did it like stop motion or something. Did they do it like sort of like the Lego Movie? Is that what it looked it, like? It or? looked like it kind of looked. It looked like a lot like that. Oh. Huh. It was interesting. I pushed play and I was like, what the fuck? Why is it Legos? And I was like, oh, maybe they're just doing a couch gag. And then it kept going. I was like, huh, cool. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And they had a couch gag for the life, uh, the game of life last for this past Sunday. That was hilarious. <laughs> uh, I, I actually want to, uh, we watched the Let's Play that uh, Achievement Hunter put out and I was watching it with a TK, and she's she's just watching it. She's being quiet, and I'm like, ah, "You want to play this, don't you?" <laughs> she's like, "Yeah." Damn. I'm like, oh, no. So I'm probably going to be suggested subjected to that at some point. Right. We could play Skype Life. I got the game. Me and my girlfriend. You and your girlfriend. Double date across country. Get the candlelights out, son. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Luke and I just sit there in our corners, like. <laughs> They're playing wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's a board game, children. You actually have these pieces. I say children like I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> well, compared to them, you are. So why isn't Charlie saying that? Because, uh, Randall, how old are you? 25. Well, almost 25. 25, 25 next month. 25. Almost 25. Old fucking man. Um, <sighs> then, of course, we have Luke, who's 19, and Trevor, you're not 19 yet, right? Not yet. You're a couple, couple weeks, right? <laughs> Jackson was making a baby sound. More like a little he over a month. A wee baby. More like over a month? Okay. I, yeah. I can never remember. I, I know you and Luke, your birthdays are close. I just can't remember how big the proximity is. Yeah. I'm kind of in July. Yes. Yeah. But, wow. And I'm turning 38 this year. <sighs> I'll make sure that I kindly remind you that you're twice my age when I have the chance. Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, I already know you're twice your age. <laughs> but, I mean, you sound more awake than he does. That's a sad thing. No, dude, it's not that he's not awake. This is emo Luke. Get used to it, man. Oh, god damn it. What happened? I just got pissed on. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> I can't oh, you say well. you're a peon. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's using my hand to do that to himself. Hashtag, hashtag laughter of children. Um, uh, it's all a farce. Titanfall is just Call of Duty with Max. Dad, why don't you listen to me? <laughs> and that about does it for uh, this week's uh, Team Debout podcast. I uh, am your host, Charlie Danger82. Luke, unfortunately, got disconnected, but uh, Randall, thank you for doing the recording and everything. Really appreciate it. Yeah, buddy. Thank you for being you, man. No problem. Thank you for being you. Uh, I can't help it. It's just me. Um, Trevor, thanks for coming out, bro. Yeah, no problem. It was from short notice, but uh, thank you for coming in. Uh, Luke, Sorry I know for the you bad dropped out. Luke. Sorry for the bad connection. Thank you for coming out, buddy. Um... And, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully see you guys this Friday on our Friday Night Debaucheries where we're playing Call of Duty Ghosts at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, I also wanted to mention, don't forget to follow at Team Deba for all of our tweets and stuff mentioning what we're doing. See, this guy, this guy remembers to actually plug the Twitter, oh. which I always forget to do. Um, <laughs> but, yes, at Team Deba, go to teamdeba.blogspot.com, check out cafepress.com slash Team Deba for our merch. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. Thank you for continued love and downloads. And please remember, don't be a hero. Good night. Good night.